Hello and welcome to this Pioneer News special discussing the Long Island Railroad. Now, the Long Island Railroad is uh, one of the busiest ra commuter railroads in the nation. I think it is the busiest, actually. But, does the service it provide, does it really serve the most customers? Is it fair to the customers? Well, in this special Pliny News, we are going to discuss how the Long Island Railroad is shafting people, especially in the middle of the island, while providing much more and better service to those on the South Shore along the Babylon Branch. Now, the Babylon Branch is entirely elevated, which does give it a major advantage because there are no grade crossings. It also is not subject to the bottleneck that the main line is subject to. The main line is subject to a bottleneck because it is mainly just two tracks between, uh, from west, just east of Floral Park to Hicksville. And the main line has to share both the Huntington line, the Ronkonkoma line, the Port Jeff diesels that run to Jamaica in rush hour, and also the occasional Montauk train and the Oyster Bay Branch as well. So as you can see, it is definitely overloaded. Only two tracks for the most part. Now there is a, two, there is a project to improve service by extending a track from Hicksville about a mile to about a mile west of the station. But we don't know what those improvements will bring. What we do know is that Riders in the Babylon branch see the most service. They see rapid transit style service in rush hour. Remind me of my rapid transit is you really don't even need to look at a schedule to know when the train is coming because there's a train every five to ten minutes most of the time. Most mainline stations do not see that kind of service except for maybe Hicksville and Mineola. Most of the time, especially here in Westbury where I live, we only see a train in rush hour every 20 to 30 minutes. And on weekends and off hours, for the most part, we only get one train an hour. Whereas stations along the Babylon branch get a train every half an hour. Now, I don't think this is fair. Let's take a look at both branches and see, let's compare here the Huntington branch, which is technically my branch living in Westbury, to the Babylon branch. The Babylon Bridge can make up to 15 stops before reaching Jamaica. It has a lot of stations and a lot more local trains than we do. Yet, the Huntington Branch, even if it made all stops like it, would, like it should on the weekends, would only make nine stops before Jamaica. But currently, the trains only make seven. All right, so you have trains that skip Westbury, that stop at Carl Place and stop at Westbury and skip Carl Place, vice versa. It makes no sense to have the line laid out like this. This has been suggested to the Long Island Railroad numerous times to change that. Now, I've recently gotten my hands on some numbers, and these numbers will show you that there's quite a bit of ridership in Westbury. And yet, this is where the, the rub comes in about richer areas. On the Huntington branch on the weekends, the train, all Huntington trains stop at Cold Spring Harbor in Sayasset. But all Huntington trains do not stop at Westbury. All Huntington trains do not stop at, at uh, Carl Place. All Huntington trains do not stop at Maryland Avenue or New Hyde Park. Why does Cold Spring Harbor get much more frequent service, yet Cold Spring Harbor is a ghost town on the weekends? Westbury gets a lot more people on the weekends than Cold Spring Harbor. Westbury is the busiest station other than Mineola and Hicksville. If you take a look at, at, at all the stations, Westbury, Carl Place, Maryland Avenue, and New Hyde Park, Westbury has the most riders. Yet, we rarely see, we barely see any improved service as a result of that. The railroad is unfavorably targeting the wealthier areas to provide better service. And the Babylon line is a perfect example of that. And I think that it is a shame that in this age of declining nice bus service, that 
many areas along the Babylon line are remain off limits to people except if you've got a lot of money. If you're rich, all right. Uh, you know, Belmore has changed a lot. You know, this is an area I I don't really want to touch into this too much, but I was trying to move to Belmore and I couldn't because I was priced out. The rents were too high. All right, and. It's because the rich people just moved in and just drove up the prices. And Long Island, I was gonna talk, do a video about this, about Long Island's changing demographics, but I decided not to. And I kind of just sort of tie it in with this video. And the fact that Long Island has changed a lot uh, since when I was younger. When I was younger, it was mostly blue collar. All right, now uh, a lot of the blue collar people have been priced out because of the rising costs and a lot of the people in blue collar areas have seen the neighborhoods change for the worse and couldn't move to a better area because the better area got taken over by white collar executives driving up the prices of everything and uh, as a result you know basically they have to leave Long Island that's happened to a lot of people I know all right and it's a real shame it's a real shame and the, how it relates to the Long Island Railroad is this. The busiest railroad, the busiest station, one of the busiest stations on Long Island in the entire Long Island Railroad is Ronkonkoma. Yet Ronkonkoma, most of the time, only sees one train an hour. One train an hour. The Long Island Railroad claims they don't have off-peak, they don't have the capacity to provide a half-hourly service. They claim because there's a lot of single tracking along the Ronkonkoma line, they can't do it. And that they're waiting for this double track project to be completed before they can do it. But the fact is, they did run half hourly Ronkonkoma service on a weekend and off peak when the US Open was going on at Bethpage, the uh, golf thing. This was several years ago. So they're full of it. Why does Babylon always get the best treatment? What is going on? What is so special about those people on the South Shore? Well, let's dive into the numbers now. Let's look at some graphics. And uh, you'll see the proof right in front of your eyes. All right, you are looking at data that is from ridership that uh, is uh, basically ticket sales. And this is ticket sales that we are looking at right now. Is ticket sales data for trips originating at New York Penn Station. Now let's first look at the Huntington branch. All right. Let's highlight Cold Spring Harbor here. Can you read that? Cold Spring Harbor. 46,293 ticket sales from Penn Station in a year. All right. Now let's scroll down to the Babylon branch. Belmore, 81,049. Now let's scroll over to the Ronkonkoma branch. Oh my god, it's off the chart. Look at that. Wow. So you can see, look, look at this. You see, what, look at how much, look at the difference between, look at how busy a lot of the stations on the Ronkonkoma line are. They're not nearly as busy as the stations on the Babylon branch, but yet the Babylon branch gets more service. Now, if we look here, you will see that Westbury gets one gets. 103,831 ticket sales from Penn Station. That's significantly more than Carl Place, significantly more than Marijuana Avenue, and even New Hyde Park. Yet, we more or less receive the same level of service that they do. Hmm. I remember Cold Spring Harbor? Why are they getting more service on the weekends when we actually have more ticket sales? And Ron Konkama. Look at Ronkonkoma. Once again, let's look at Ronkonkoma. I'm going to move this over. 323,108. Yet they see very infrequent service outside of rush hour. And even in the rush hour, it's not great. Not compared to the Babylon line. Well, Ronkonkoma is hampered by uh, the um, you know track issues. But once again, I think that that's a bit of a, a uh, it's a bit of an excuse they use. 
Now let's go ahead and we'll look at Long Beach. Scroll this. Let's see, we scroll this. Yeah, scroll this down. I gotta scroll it up. Yeah, I gotta scroll it this way. Let's look at Long Beach. Long Beach is also very busy, and yet they only also see one train an hour outside of Rush. Now, why is that? Why is that? 223,200. Yet, the folks in the Babylon branch get the best service. The service is not matching where the ridership is. And this data kind of proves that, if you look at it. Now, let's scroll up and let's look at some of the other stations, because there are other stations people go to. Now, the Port Washington branch does very well. And it does serve a very wealthy area, perhaps wealthier than any other area. And the ridership is very good on that branch as well. As you can see, they recently, and only recently, had their half-hourly service restored. Now we are looking at the schedules. All right, and the schedules, uh, this is the Babylon branch that we are looking at right now. In the morning rush, all right, morning rush, a.m. peak, all right. You'll notice, we're going to look at the schedule, and you can, you know, look at it for yourself and see. Uh, here's Belmore. There's a train, all right, every 20 minutes, 546 o'clock, 615, 631, 639, and then they really get frequent, 649, all right, 659, 713, 729. Some of these go to Flatbush. There are a lot of expresses. They have both served by a lot of expresses. What the trains do on this branch is uh, you'll see some 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 trains will serve ba uh, Babylon through Amityville, then they'll skip Massapequa, then they'll stop at Wantaw, Belmore, Merrick, and then they'll go express. There are the trains that start at Wantaw, making uh, these are the most popular in these communities. The ones that stop at Wantaw, Belmore, and Merrick only, and then run express to Penn Station. And each trains are very popular here. All right, and. You'll see they don't have to make any stop at any of those stations. And then they have other trains that go for start at Freeport. All right. But you can see frequent, reliable, frequent service. And I think it is pretty reliable, too. You can see generally there's a train very frequently. All right. All right. I mean, we can count the amount of trains Belmore has. Let's count. I'm just taking Belmore as an example because it's kind of in the middle of the line. All right, you have one, 521. All right, I'm going to count now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Actually, I'm going to scroll this along with me while I count. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 trains going to, going to either uh, Penn or Atlantic. 16 trains from Belmore in the rush hour alone, AM rush, all right? Uh, and then, well, actually, we're going to just compare the, the different times. So now I compare the AM rush, all right? Now let's take a look at the my, my station, Westbury, all right? Let's take a look at my, my train line, all right? Uh, this is, we are on the Huntington Port Jefferson schedule, all right? Uh, these are diesels that start at Port Jefferson, and Let's take a look at Westbury now. You see you're waiting much longer for a train. 531, 550, and then after the 550 is the middle of the rush hour. Take a look at all these trains that wind up skipping Westbury. Next train isn't until 630. All right, and then there's 638, 659, 718. This train, st notice that we don't really have many expresses too, by the way. I don't know why this looks funny on here, but it's starting to look a little funny. We don't have any expresses. All right, uh, most of the trains are, we don't have the expresses like, we only have one here at 737, that's it. 735, I should say. Hicksville, that's the only one that goes Hicksville, Westbury, and Carl Place, then it's, then it's express. But other than that, now if you miss that train, there's a 742, but then look at what happened. 742, you missed the 742. You've got to wait to 812. Look at all these trains that wind up skipping Westbury. 827 and 912, and that's it. Those are all your trains. So, how many trains does Westbury see in the AM peak? How many? All right, we have 531. That's all right, I'm going to count them now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 11 trains. And Belmore had like 15, right? So you can see that we get significantly less service, even though we are a community where much less people drive. Most, a lot of people in Westbury, they, I mean, Westbury is a community that has all different kinds of people, but a lot of people don't drive. A lot of people depend on public transportation, and they need frequent train service, especially now with nice bus becoming less rural. It's true we see more bus service than many places along the Babylon line, but bus service is in decline because of nice. All right, so people rely more on the train now. And the Long Island Railroad has not been receptive to adding stops at Westbury, as you know, on a lot of trains. So, now you see what it looks like in the AM rush. Now we're going to go to the PM rush, the PM rush, and show you. Now this will be a long video, all right? So, you just have to, uh, you know, you can check out the schedules yourself at MTA. That info, I'll put the links in there for you. Now, in the middle of the day, you'll notice uh, the Babylon branch sees a train every half an hour, more or less. All right, train every half an hour. There's some actually express trains that stop only at Babylon and Freeport. Those are ones that connect up to diesels, probably. All right, um, and you'll see that uh, you know they got a train every half an hour, 150, 250. It's pretty regular, you know, clock face schedules, which makes it easy for people who, you know, generally don't have cars, you know, to remember. There's only oh there is a one hour gap though right here between the, on the, on, as far as the locals go uh, between 4:39 and and 5:39 there is that one hour gap I'll note that all right um, actually we are looking yeah we were looking at middays right all right so we're looking at middays and you'll see generally they have a lot of trains all right generally and of course I have to cover the other direction too so we have to do that too all right uh. You can see if they've got pretty frequent regular, excuse me, re regular service here. You'll see um, pretty frequent regular service. Good for people who don't have cars. Uh, very good for that for that you know kind of crowd. You're depending on public transportation. You need it to be reliable. It's a good place for people to live. All right. Now we're going to go back over to the main line. And I still haven't even touched on the Ronkonkoma line yet, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. All right. And now we head over to the main line and compare, again, those middays. Westbury, more or less, only sees a train every half an hour. I mean, every hour. I'm sorry. Every hour. Except there are three trains that start at Farmingdale. Or, they, yeah, they start at Farmingdale that do stop in Westbury. You'll see these trains uh, pointed out here. I think they are. Where are they? Yeah, they're here. Here, here you go. There's one here. 1128 Hicksville, 1133. But notice 1127, 1133, the trains are scheduled to come close together. So it's not actually every half an hour. It's just uneven, irregular service. Again, if you're depending on public transportation to get around, it, it makes things difficult. Now, a lot of people in Westbury depend on public transportation to get around. All right? Um, for the most part, out of Huntington, they only see one train an hour. Um... Again, the Huntington, I don't know why they only have one train an hour out of Huntington at those times, but they do. It's not frequent. It's not regular. It's really more difficult to rely on it when, it's li when you have to look at the schedule uh, and stuff like that. So, and then we go ahead and we look at the... Um, the midday service going east out of... Uh, East, so oh, it's still east. No, I'm looking at yeah, I'm looking at east, right? Okay, you see the same thing again. It's one train an hour, more or less, at Westbury all day. One train an hour. That's it. Doesn't start getting more frequent until later. All right. I'm not going to count all the trains. All right. I could, but I'm not. All right. Um, well, we could count them, I guess, uh, but I'm not going <laughs> to. You can count for yourself. I will count in the rush hour, though. All right, uh, because that's, you know, when the most people ride. Let's go back to the Babylon branch. Now let's look at the PM rush hour, right? This is the PM rush, you know, PM peak, um, a Babylon line, all right? Uh, we have lots of trains to choose from. Belmore, literally, look at this. 5 o'clock, 5.04, 5.28, 5.24, 5.46, 5.39, 6.03, 6.45, 6.50, 6.55, 6.60, 6.70, 6.71, 6.72, 6.73, 6.74, 6.75, 6.76, 6.77, 6.78, 6.79, 6.80, 6.81, 6.82, 6.83, 6.84, 6.85, 6.86, 6.87, 6.88, 6.89, 6.90, 6.91, 6.92, 6.93, 6.94, 6.95, 6.96, 6.97, 6.98, 6.99, 6.10, 6.11, 6.12, might as well just count them along, and because this video will take forever if I don't. All right, I'm just going to count them now. All right, count all the trains that are arriving in Belmore going east in the PM. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 trains they get. Um, 16 trains. And you'll see there are, you know, generally you're waiting, uh, generally you can be waiting as little as just a few minutes. A few minutes. That's it. That's all. All the trains, here's, uh, you know, all the, all the line, you know, all the stations see these frequent. So, again, there's some trains that, again, a lot of trains actually, that wind up just going to Merrick, Belmore, and Wantor. Here's one here, 519. Uh, here's another one at uh, 605. Uh, you know, there's another one that sometimes they do get canceled and they have to get combined with the, this other train here, the 605, sometimes get combined, combined with the 610, and then they whine about it like it's the worst thing in the world, uh, you know, because they're spoiled rich people with nothing better to do, uh, and they're spoiled with their, the amount of train service they get, you know, they're very lucky, you know. Let's take a look at what we have to deal with in Westbury, and you'll see what I mean. Let's go to the PM peak now, all right, PM rush hour Westbury, all right. In Westbury, we have a train arriving at 515, 538, 557, 605, 623. Notice there's much less frequency here. Hopefully you can read this. Uh, we have a one express that uh, 601 from Penn that does go make its first stop, Westbury at 640. Uh, another one at 653, then 716, then 740, then 801. Let me count them all again. We'll see how many trains that comes up to here. All right. Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got eleven trains while Belmore gets sixteen trains. All right. Uh, again, a lot of people in Westbury don't have cars. They rely on mass transit. They need more train service, and yet we're not getting it. All right. Most of the people who use the Belmore station are driving there. They can have a choice to get in their car. All right. These people here, many people in my town, don't have that choice. Why is the Long Island Railroad screwing them? And the other thing I want to point out to you is post-peak. This is a problem post-peak here. You'll see what happens post-peak. They did, I'm glad the Long Island Railroad added, they added a train, 822 train that goes to Hicksville. Because what happened was the 754 got, gets very crowded. And then the next train that was stopping at the, uh, the New Hyde Park, Maryland Avenue, West Barrick Center, wasn't until 842. So what they did is they put an 822 in to help out. And so that helps take the load off those other trains. Uh, it's an 822 to Hicksville, and then the 842 that goes to Huntington with a connection at Port Jeff. All right. But now what happens is if you miss the 842, you're stuck waiting an entire hour for another train to Westbury. An entire freaking hour. All right. And those trains get crowded. All right. Now let's go ahead and look at the Babylon branch after, uh, after rush hour. And you'll see they don't have that problem. It's 808, 836, 908. 9.39, so again, get trained every half an hour. No crazy long waits for those people. Yet, once again, let me go and point out that Westbury, as a lot of people don't drive, they need the mass transit. All right? Now we're going to go ahead and look at the weekend. I'm just comparing the mainline local stations in Nassau to the mainline local stations in Suffolk to show you the uneven levels of service that's going on. But I think what I'm about to show you next is probably the biggest thing that can be changed. All right? understand in rush hour things are tight, especially on the main line as I explained to you before about having to share all those other branches. Let's go to the weekends. All right. Weekend Babylon line. All right. Gets a train every half an hour more or less, as you see. And I'll just scroll here. I'm not going to go counting trains here. All right. They get a train more or less every half an hour. There's some gaps at some stations during the middle of the day, but more or less there's a train every half an hour along the entire Babylon line. All right. And let me add that the, the Babylon trains make 15 stops, sometimes up to 15 stops for Jamaica, whereas the Huntington line makes much less stops. All right. So again, Babylon line sees every service every half an hour more or less. All right. You see that here. All right. I'll show you coming out of Penn. So you're coming out of Penn. Let's say you come in, you come in, you, you spend some time in the city. You're coming out of Penn, and you want to go back to Belmore. Uh, yeah, you know, you can get a train. You know, get a train every half an hour. 725, 755, uh, 807, 855. There's some irregularity here and there, but more or less, it's it's pretty it's pretty frequent. All right, 925, 955, 1007. Now, we, let's jump over to the Huntington line here. All right. And let's see what's going on here. Let's get to the weekend first. 
show you what we deal with here. All right, because this is where this is the biggest thing that can be that can be changed. All right. In fact, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to really show it to you. Well, you'll probably be able to see here what goes on. All right, so the Huntington line gets half hourly service on weekends, which is great. All right. The problem is those trains don't make all stops. Trains that stop in Westbury, like the 658 here, if you can see that. In fact, we'll just zoom in a little so you can really see it. The, such as the 658. This train here doesn't stop in Carl Place. It stops in Maryland Avenue, but it doesn't stop in the White Parks. So they alternate stops. So when you have alternating stops, basically Westbury, which is this station right here, and highlighting only sees one, about one train an hour. All right, one train an hour. That's it. That's all we get. All right, those trains we get a lot of people there, but we only get one train an hour. All right. Yet if you take a look and we scroll up to Cold Spring Harbor, which is over here, oh, they get a train every half an hour. Isn't that interesting? How come? West Westbury, where once again a lot of people depend on public transportation, gets train only every half uh, every hour. While well, Coast Marine gets train every half an hour, and Coast Marine on the weekends is a ghost town. Why do they get more trains? Because they're rich. That's why. It's obvious what's going on. So um, again, we do have those extra trains that there are extra Ronkonkoma trains that there are three of them. They do stop in Westbury, and you'll see them here on the schedule at 10, 1047. That's an extra. That's the extra Ronkonkoma train. There's three of them. Uh, again, there's three of them, and 1047, 1058. It's the, again, the timing's not even. Uh, most Ronkonkoma trains usually don't stop in Westbury. It's kind of unusual. They have it like that. Now, what should be going on is that these Huntington branch trains should be making all stops, or at least stopping at Westbury and New White Park, which is the busier stations. But I still think they should be stopping at all stops. There are only nine of them. All right. It's not like the Babylon line. All right. So again, and you get to see come what it's like coming home now. Let's coming back from the city. Um, you'll see again here. Again, the Westbury train is at 8:22. All right. And again, if you miss it, you're stuck there until 9:22. The 8:51 stops at Carl Place at 9:23, but doesn't. I'm sorry, 9:27, but it doesn't stop. Actually, it might be 9:30. It's 9:30, but it doesn't stop in Westbury. See, this is Westbury here. 9:05, 8:05, 10:05, but it doesn't stop in Westbury. It's going right past the station. Why doesn't it make a stop in Westbury? I have been complaining to the Long Island Railroad until I'm blue in the face about this. And that's why I had to make a video. It's a long video. It's a long rant video. But I'm tired of not being heard. They can come up with their excuses. They'll have the excuse like, well, Huntington has no yard. We need the time in Huntington. The fact is you just need a few more minutes on the schedule. It can be done. I've done it. I've drawn up my own schedule stops at Westbury. It can be done. Why do we get the short end of the stick when a lot of people in my town depend on public transportation because they don't have cars? Yet the richer communities that have cars and have the choice get better service. I am tired of it. It's bad enough that the poor people in this county get shitted on by Ed Mangano and Nice Bus seeing their service cut. They also get shitted on by the MTA. Now, Westbury is also trying to make itself more attractive to people to live here, especially commuters and young people. But it's difficult when we don't get cooperation from the Long Island Railroad to improving service. So basically, that's all I have to say on the subject. I'm not going to go over all these schedules. You get the idea of how unfair things are. There is one thing that I do also want to bring up. When traveling out east, let's say you're coming back from out east, like on the Port Jefferson branch, not every one of these Port Jefferson branch trains connects up to a Westbury train. All right, so if you say, say you get on the 542 from Port Jefferson, your train will stop in Westbury. But if you get on the 708 train from Port Jefferson, guess what? The train it connects up to skips Westbury and stops in Carl Place. Enough with the skipping of stops, Long Island Railroad. You have the capability to run a local Huntington train 
on the weekends. This is something that can be done. I know the rush hours are a little harder, but on the weekends, you have the ability to do this. The ridership is behind me on this. All right, and I will eventually start a petition to get you to change this because you are public transportation. Let's just look at the MTA logo here while I say this. You are public transportation. All right, your job is to serve as many passengers as possible. All right, MTA Long Island Railroad. That is your job right there. All right, serve as many, not certain passengers, as many passengers. So where the ridership is, you have that obligation as a taxpayer funded, fair funded public transportation system to provide the service where it is needed. And it is needed in places like Westbury. There are other communities too along the main line as I talked about before. So stop playing favorites with the executive's snobs on the Babylon branch and start giving the middle of the island what it needs. Thank you for watching.